What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Mez here. I've not brought you a video in like two weeks or something. I don't even know. So this is another story. This is about my school and upcoming updates. So if you want to just hear the announcement and skip my beautiful story, then click to the end till you find it. But there's gonna be a fun announcement coming. And yeah, so this is gonna be a live commentary, which means that I'm playing live gameplay in the background, so you might hear my controller rattle or something like that, so, what ifs, alright, so, let's get into it, and I have some stuff to read off, on my paper right here, so, alright, what's going on guys, we're playing some competitive COD here, you know, some, some of that stuff, strictly business one, I'm just saying that before I get into it, congrats to them, but, alright, so, let's start it off. We're in school today. This all happened today, not even like five hours ago. So we're in school, sitting there. We have weird schedules because we have ISAT testing, Illinois State Achievement Test, which is basically like the state test where your schedule changes and <clears throat> like everything changes basically. So we were doing that, la 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 la. We have lunch at like 9.40, 9.58 or something like that. So, we go to lunch, okay, just like a normal school day up until there, we go to lunch, we're just sitting there, towards the end of lunch, I'd say maybe 10.30, 10.40, I have no idea, but just in that area, out of nowhere, we are on the intercom, we are now in lockdown, which is like crazy, because we all thought it was a drill, I was like, yo, it's a drill, it's fine, you know, then 10 minutes later, like 10 minutes passed by, um, yeah, 10 minutes passed by, after that, then we hear, we don't hear another announcement, we're just, like, assuming, shouldn't the drill be done, we're about to miss our classes and stuff, and this is, like, during ISAS, like, I had ISAT testing after lunch, in fourth period, and, like, we are all, like, isn't our classes gonna be missed or something like that, and, like, 20 minutes passed, we're, like, yeah, this has to be a real thing, then out of nowhere, <clears throat> I'm on Team E, we have like H, L, M, E, and R teams. I'm on Team E, and all, all you hear on the intercom is all staff, like, go to Team, uh, go to lunchroom. All staff on Team E go to the lunchroom, and Team O, I think it was. But, yeah, you hear that, then it's like, oh, shit, this has to be real, because they wouldn't be doing this, wasting everyone's time just for this. So, once that happens... Uh, while we were waiting for all the teachers to get here, you know, we were, like, able to talk and everything. Because it re wasn't really that big of a deal. But as we're waiting, we just see, like, a ton of cops walk by the door. Like, walk past the lunchroom door, because we have, like, two doors to it. Like, in the school, and then, like, one or two leading outside the school. So we see cops walking through the door. Or, not through the door, but, like, past the door. To go outside and, like, secure the perimeter and stuff like that. And we see guard dogs, like... Those Call of Duty Riley dogs that you'd see in the military. We saw them, like, walking around the hallways, sniffing lockers and stuff. So we're like, oh shit, Professor, this has got to be real. And then, uh, after that, we're sitting there. We are like, the lockers. Like, they're going through the lockers, apparently. Or something like that. And let me just say this now. On Friday, we have two schools near us. Hadley, like, which is for 5th fifth, fifth and 6th, or... Yeah, 5th and 6th graders, and then our school, 7th and 8th, I'm in 8th grade. And on Friday, we were at like a 5 minute lockdown over here, but at Hadley, they were on like a 4 hour or something lockdown, like 2 hours after school even. Like they couldn't leave until the cops gave the like, yes or whatever, the okay. So we were on a lockdown for like 5 minutes, which isn't, which isn't that big of a deal. Like... And I did not have my phone through all this. I would have tweeted it out. I've been like, yeah, you know, stuck in here. Cops drowning in the building. We're good. Stuff like that. But no, I would took it. I would have taken pictures and put them on the screen. But nope. Of course, my phone was in my backpack. Dead, probably. And so then after the guard dogs were going up and down the lockers. Let's. Just, oh, I'm just gonna say that now. We were in there for about. An hour, no, not an hour, like two hours and a half. Like, we were in there from fourth period to, uh, fourth period to eighth period, so that's about four hours. 
just about, like, about 8th period, about, like, halfway through 7th period. So, yeah, 3 hours and a half. 3 and a half hours, whatever. Piss off. But, um, yeah, so, that was going on. We're like, okay, now we're missing our classes, what are we gonna do? And, <clears throat> apparently, like, I'm just gonna say this now, at Hadley, they were out for, like, four hours or something, like, a lockdown or something like that, because they found, um, a used bullet. Shell, shell like, a casing or something. For the shell and etc. I don't know. But, they found something like that, so they went on lockdown, and I guess they found one here, too. They said two suspicious items, which I'll read you the paper that they gave out. Everyone to give to their parents and stuff later. So, the cops are going up and down. The cops are, like, securing the area. Like, basically, by securing the area, I mean, um, one of them was, like, walking around back, checking if there was, like, an enter, like, an entrance area. We were like, oh, dude, maybe someone's, like, in the building. And this is, like, a full lunchroom, just talking about this stuff. Like, everyone's freaking out, like, oh, my God, we're all gonna die. There's a bomb in here. It's like, no. If there's a bomb, we'd be out of this building. But, uh, they called it a soft lockdown, <clears throat> and I'm just going to read you this paper right here. It says, Dear Parents and Guardians, and I quote, This morning, two suspicious items were found at Homer Junior High. The items were turned over to administration by a teacher and investigated. an investigation started immedi immediately. Our investigation immediately began. As a procedure, Homer Junior High went into a soft lockdown shelter in place at approximately 10:30 and a thorough building search was completed by Will County Sheriff's Department deputies. The search did not produce any dangerous items and the lockdown was lifted at approximately 12:10 once the officers gave the all clear. And quote. If you have any questions call whatever phone number I'm not going to name it. But um yeah, so basically the cops were there. It was kind of wasting our morning, but hey, whatever. And I mean, what I'm guessing is that they found a bullet. They found they found they said two suspicious items, so maybe like a bullet or like a gun case or something. So I can see why we went into lockdown for that. But it sucked for the other kids because the teachers had to deliver lunches to them, and they couldn't really leave the classroom. So it's like. I heard that I have someone in private chat right now, and he said that his lunch was delivered cold and stuff, so. Too bad. Lunch just suck anyway. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, dogs searching lockers. After that, we went back to our locker, and I guess some of the lockers were ransacked. Not really, kind of, but, like, there's trash cans in the hallways. Either for, like, the lunch, or just, like, in general. Trash cans, so if they need to throw on anything. But some of the lockers around me weren't closed the way that they were. Like it, um, like this one girl, Vicky. She said her locker wasn't closed this way. Like her backpack was like sticking out, like her backpack uh case thing or whatever. I don't know what to call it, like strap. That was sticking out of the locker, and she said that's not how close. So I'm just like, oh. My locker was fine, everyone around mine was basically fine. But, yeah, that was basically my story. Basically wasted three hours, just about, to, like, do all that. Oh, yeah, in the middle of this whole entire thing, like, the whole entire lockdown, everyone had to take massive, like, bathroom breaks. They let us go once, an hour into it, and they only took three kids out of the lunchroom, and there's about, like, 80 kids in there. More than 80, probably. And they only took out three at a time. Three boys, three girls. Oh my god. I walked in there, unzip. I'm just like, it was like a waterfall. Freaking La Niagara Falls 2.0 over there. So it was pretty intense. My piss was. I'm, just, I'm not going to get into detail about that. I mean, unless you really want to know the message. I mean, I don't know what life you guys are about. But, um, yeah, so that's basically, holy crap, I'm only one left. But yeah. That's basically it with that story. Now I got into a fun announcement to make. Yay! Fun announcements. Woo! I'll put some epic music on for this. But, um... So... As you know, Titanfall's coming out. Xbox 360, Xbox One, tomorrow. 
and yeah, we're tonight at 12. Ugh, and um, well, I'm guessing they're gonna be doing like esports or something like that, cause you know Call of Duty esports and stuff. And Titanfall creators are the creators of Call of Duty as well, but they branched off of it, like workers that work there. So they branched off of it, etc. They made their own game, multiplayer only, which is gonna be sick. And for Team Hybrid, which is my team, you know, that will be taken off soon with the sniping promo, everything like that soon. That, uh, what we're doing is starting a division in Titanfall. First we have to see how it goes, how Titanfall is, and if this, this is all if Titanfall is going esports or not. Like, if Titanfall goes esports, we're starting a division for Titanfall, like a competitive team for Titanfall, Titanfall. Which I'll probably be coaching that, either coaching or playing, and then coaching the Call of Duty one, I don't know yet. But, uh, they're just playing both, I don't know. So, we'll be doing a competitive team for Titanfall. If it's worth it, if it's worth starting the team, getting everything together, banners, etc. They'll all be uploaded on the hybrid competitive channel. Uh, it's probably linked or subboxed off my channel. It will all be linked there. So go and check that out, subscribe if you haven't already, we have like 15 or something. And... Why is there a car going up? There's a car. At my mailbox! Putting mail in. Okay, I thought they were stealing my mail. That is not a car that mail people drive. It's like an SUV, just like a black SUV rolls up. Whatever. But, um, yeah, go check that out. So, I know how to get my Elgato hooked up. Yep, in order to be in the competitive team, you have to have an Elgato, etc. There will be a recruitment challenge, probably, for the Call of Duty sniping, and if we need more competitive players, that, etc. Guys, that has basically been all I really need to tell you. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed, and of course, my. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. I'm not going to say daily content, because I don't upload daily. I upload when stories come out, news happens, anything like that. Hashtag drama alert. <laughs> but, um, yeah, drama alert ended, did you know that? Got hacked or something. I have no idea. But, if you guys haven't already subscribed, like I said, like the video, if you like the story, I know it's kind of long, like 13 minutes, well deal but uh i know the gameplay in the background is not the best it's just for me to you know uh there's people outside my house but it's for me to just explain what the story was and stuff if you guys have enjoyed the video and or like big booty host don't forget to drop a like i've said that like six times Alright guys, it's been your own mask.